How's it going? Shades here and welcome back to another video. So here today, I just wanted to make a quick vlog video. It is August 2nd. Talking about what happened on Sunday, July 31st. It was a pretty good day. So I ended up going to a Rainiers game. Shout out to them. They ended up winning. The score was 8-3. to They ended up beating the El Paso, Texas Chihuahuas. So that was pretty exciting. But they ended up, it was pink in the park day, and they ended up auctioning off player jerseys. There was two auctions. The first one, they had every player on the team's jersey. And they were also signed. So, for example, if you wanted Forrest Wall's jersey, number seven, it had his autograph as well, and you had to bid for it. And let's say you wanted number three's jersey, Mejia's. That one would also be signed. So, pretty much, whoever's, whoever's jersey you wanted, it was signed by that player. So, they held those auctions from the first pitch up until the start of the eighth inning. Along with that, after the game, they had an auction for about five different players' jerseys who didn't play in the game. And you also got to get their autograph on that jersey, and you got to meet them and take a picture with them. So that was pretty cool. So, obviously, I did some bidding, and I won one of my favorite players on the Rainiers, Forrest Wall's jersey. This one was not game worn, but it was autographed. You guys may be able to see here, right on the number seven. So pretty cool. I paid $350 for this one. And All the money is going to breast cancer research. So that is pretty cool. And I can't quite remember the name of the facility. I will leave it down in the description. But they are doing really good work regarding that. So I honestly don't really feel like I overpaid or anything like that. Especially when... All the money is going to a good cause. So the second thing here is I ended up bidding for and winning Eric Mejia's jersey. And this one was game worn. He did not play though, so that's kind of unfortunate. But I also got to meet him. So that was pretty dang cool of course it was brief which was unfortunate but it was really really cool and it smells like his body spray to be honest so i paid 350 dollars for that one as well so 700 dollars in total came out of my pocket and it all went to a good cause. So that's pretty much everything that happened. I just wanted to share that. I honestly really liked meeting Eric Mejia. 
He's a really cool dude. As brief as that meeting was, it honestly boosted my... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm just going to go with morale and self-esteem. It just... It boosted how I see things. And it gave me basically that kick in the butt that I kind of needed to just kind of switch my point of view on things. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that and the chance that I got to meet him. So all in all, that's going to end the video. Till next time, I am Shades, signing off. Peace.